I'm Jory Squibb, and I'm from Camden, Maine, although I'm a only 30-year transplant from, from basically Detroit, Michigan, where I grew up. So when I built this car three years ago, I didn't realize exactly that I was building it on a very important point of our history. Uh, gas was just beginning to rise. It was just beginning to hit um, $2.50 a gallon or so. Uh, and of course, since then, things have really escalated and uh, the car has taken on even more, uh, and more interest than it originally had. So we don't go to the gas station very often, but when we do, uh, we fill up for $5. And it occurred to me that there was a way to make a very efficient, small second car for a family that uh, would be used for the erranding. And that's when Moonbeam was really born. There we go. Gas is a bargain. It, it's at $4 a gallon gas is a bargain. When you take the fact that a gallon of gas is a certain size, it's like a gallon of milk, it weighs like a gallon, weighs eight pounds, and you take the amount of energy in that eight pound block that you spent four to five dollars on, you've got a bargain. What makes it seem expensive is we waste it. We, we, we throw it around on 15 mile per gallon cars and even 25 mile per gallon cars, moving great amounts of weight around that usually we don't need. You know, we're driving cars that are much too heavy for, for what they need to do. Uh, but you take the actual thing, gasoline or diesel fuel, it's a wonderful fuel. If you'll conserve it, it's a wonderful fuel. Uh, but it was a it was a long project, and my wife didn't didn't see much of me during that time. I was just a, it was really an obsessive project. But the isolation of working in a garage in in midwinter Maine was was really really quite something. I use this car a lot. I use it for all my all my local driving, and so um, and it uh, weighs four hundred pounds. Uh, it costs twenty five hundred dollars in materials. Um, if two people are on very good terms, they can sit side by side. It helps to do a certain amount of yoga to get in and out of this thing. Because Moonbeam's mission is to, is to be a gadfly, is to get people thinking light, get people thinking that they don't need 150 horsepower to go to the mall or, or two tons to pick up the kids at school. You know, its job is to, is to get people to think differently. I'm just so glad that it's over, you know, that now we, we are being forced to use our ingenuity, which we have tons of, you know, we can put a man on the moon, you know, we can do amazing things. We can solve, we can solve this problem if we put our minds to it. I'm sure we can. I really can.